Oh man, that red wine. The pizza's so good, but I guess. Oh man. Ooh. Oh, hello, folks. Welcome back. I'm the one, the only. I am Hobo Tom. As you can tell, I have to go to work tomorrow. I actually cleaned up a little bit. And we had our special guest, Iho Del Hobo El Vagabundo. And I'm trying to get a little healthier because I realized that Christmas, Thanksgiving, and a whole bunch of gatherings, you probably can't tell because it's probably still a little bit frosty. This is that... Um, Apple cider and vinegar combination. That apple cider vinegar lemon juice combination that I saw online. I need to cut a little tonnage. So we'll see what happens. And I'm but I'm not necessarily willing to give up cheeseburgers. I'm not going the way of eating six pieces of asparagus with chia seeds on top. I still like my red wine pizza. I like my my Saturday feast. I do go to the gym. Time to moderate myself and mm. uh, I figure if I have that before I go to sleep, it should do something. I hope. Oh, I'm not here to talk about my health issues. I'm here to talk about some SmackDown. And before I do that, Papana. You, sir, made that six count. I think we were talking about Bailey's haircut. Um, he said she looked like a Karen. I made reference to the fact that she looks like some old school Romulan villain. We're both pretty close. Then, of course, cover roll. You, sir, are out of here.
I think we were talking about Carmella and how uncute she got. She looks like a aged Florida MILF. And again, Farron, you, sir. OMG! It's been a while since I've heard from you. Again, commenting on the looks of Carmella. She's not cute. In fact, minus Asuka, there are no cute women in WWE. They're all on, they're all on NXT. Some of the disgusting things they do, like, well, won't even mention what Shotzi Blackheart reportedly does, but yeah, whatever. Let's talk about some SmackDown now. Um, first, actually, just to start off, it was Sasha Banks versus Bailey. A little promo, a little recap package. Um, starts very classically, collar and elbow tie up. Uh, Sasha hits the Mex Mexican arm drag from that. She also hit a wheelbarrow backstabber. Bailey gets out of that. Bailey missed the baseball slide. I'll tell you what. Sasha Banks really has to work on her timing. Because when she yanked Bailey's feet, like, Bailey just, it seemed like Bailey didn't know. And I don't know if this is Bailey's bad or Sasha's bad. But I'll tell you what. Bailey's head hit that mat. Oh, that was not good. It either it could have been a truly amazing sell. I mean, if it was Bailey, I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. But you know what? I don't think so. Sasha Banks has been known to be. I don't know if it's reckless. Um, absent-minded is probably a better term when it comes to wrestling, both protecting herself and others. Hey, we've seen it before where she's given herself concussions like Dolph has. So yeah, that, that one, that was just, ooch. Uh, and then Bailey, yeah, Bailey goes, goes bonk. And then a meteor into the post. That was actually pretty good looking. Um, Sasha, Sasha then goes bonk. Into the into the ring, and I don't know. Sasha's not going to have that long career. Sasha's career is going to be a, it's going to be a little bit longer than Paige, the way she keeps this up between Charlotte smashes, um, Becky Lynch's matches, this match. You, you you have to. I understand you have to sell. You also have to protect yourself a little bit too. Sasha Banks does not protect herself. It's either because she's bad at selling and has to do it really close, sometimes way too close, or who knows. Yeah, that bonk. On... There's a ting. There's another concussion. Go, go ding dong that, Bailey. Um, then Bailey again hit, hit a baseball slide on the outside. Uh, Banks got her crown into the table because she got caught. Um, then again, that 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 one running knee. It looks like she completely missed Sasha. Uh, Sasha Banks tried to deliver a running knee when Bailey was in the corner. It looks like she completely missed the knee, went right through the ropes, and right to the outside again. Bad timing, or she doesn't know what she's doing. It's it, it could be that fact that this sounds good on paper, but in practice and execution, no, no, no. Again, this match, then you got that, again, that meh frog splash by Sasha Banks. If you're going to do the, I don't know, if you're going to, if you're only five foot tall, doing a frog splash really isn't that impressive, unless you really stretch out and you just go, meh. No, not so much. This man, I don't, I don't know what it was. Then Bailey hit that terrible macho elbow. How dare you, Bailey? How dare you besmirch the great macho man, Randy Savage, by delivering such a bleh, elbow. You know what? Bleh, that. Oh, yeah. Ah. 
that's the stuff, baby. But yeah, I thought that stuff tasted bad. You want know watching you wrestle Bailey and Sasha Banks watching you wrestle too. It's worse than whatever this stuff is that people like to drink for some reason. A lot of too. You know the water is good for you. The apple cider vinegar. I understand that the lemon juice is tempers it a little bit. I'm just glad I had my red wine pizza beforehand. Yeah, that, that, that was a terrible elbow. Then Bailey went for a bank statement, and, and Sasha hit the bank statement. Sa- Sasha Banks wins. Congratulations, Sasha. You can you can retain your championship. I'm downgrading this match. This match was a can of soup. And then Florida Mom Carmella comes out. Super kick Sasha Banks. Carmella lost her cuteness. She had way too much work done during her break. Then we see Jay Uso getting himself a cup of coffee. Kevin's, Kevin Steen, I mean Kevin Owens, makes a couple of wise cracks about that. Oh, you're, you're getting, getting your uh, cousin's coffee now? Don't take too kindly to that. Remember, Jay Uso, you have to know, shut your mouth and know your role. Um, so then Jay Uso. Yeah, he has to go visit, again, the, the chief. See that later? Ray Mysterio is looking for his daughter. His daughter's in a little ba- black dress. Listen, there's only two things women do in wearing that little black dress. They go to a concerto, like a civilized thing, or they're doing... Oh, that was the phrase. To um, I think someone said um, so yeah. I wonder where she's. I wonder what happened if you blacklit that dress of hers. And I said that black dress would light up like a Christmas tree under a black light. And he had a laugh at that. That's what that comment was. Yeah. Again, that little black and 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 little, very little too. By the way, very very high cut. And and and. Very high slit on the side, like near the front, and very low cut spaghetti top things or spaghetti strap things, whatever. So yeah, Ray's looking for his daughter. He gets jumped by Marion Corbin because he also forgot his. He's so obsessed about his daughter. Like, damn it, where is she at? Shoot, I forgot my gear in the. Tr- Again, it's just being preoccupied makes sense though. We all get preoccupied sometimes, even the great Ray Mysterio. And then Jay confronts Roman. Roman says, "Listen." You're not doing these interviews. You got a match. You better win. So then we had um, Rey Mysterio versus Baron Corbin. Uh, Corbin, it's a spine buster right off the back. Meh, not bad spine buster. Steps on Mysterio, then he goes. Then then they go to outside. Uh, Corbin tries to take out Rey Mysterio when he's against the steps. No, he runs right into the steps himself. A big side elbow by Corbin. At least Corbin knows how to deliver a side elbow. Bailey. Um, Seth Rollins comes out as a distraction. Ray does the, the weak Mexican headbutt. Mexican headbutt, worst headbutt ever. Um, number one, Simone headbutt. Number two, Scottish headbutt. Number three, American headbutt. Number four, Canadian headbutt. Number five, Mexican headbutt. That's the way the headbutt pain meter reads. At least for one hobo Tom. Uh, Ray then bite. Ray, Ray, that was great. Um, he tried to cross body, got caught by Corbin. Um, again, he just got slammed for his uh, that's, that's twisting slam. That was great on the outside. Ray, dry, Ray gets driven to the ring. Ray's in the bear hug. And, and Ray at least realizes, hey, if I'm stuck in this bear hug, the only thing I can possibly do is bite him. That makes sense. Ray, I applaud you for your wrestling knowledge. So he bites him in the head. Good to see. Then Corbin gets set up for the 619. Rollins kind of is there. Ali is with Murphy. That's another distraction. Baron Corbin wins. Ray Mysterio is not on the team. Meh. Ham sandwich match. J. 
Just with this match, it's too much overbooking. Then we Natalia, who got the proper entrance. Ruby Riot, who cut her hair. Ruby Riot looks utterly amazing now. I like a short hair Ruby Riot. She's hot. Hey, 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 Ruby, if Matt Cross ever dumps you, I'm single too, okay? And then Selena Vega's in the ring. She's just tiny. Um, starts off with a trade roll ups by everyone. To start the match, Ruby Riot has, gets stuck in the Mexican surfboard. Ruby Riot with short hair looks utterly amazing. She should keep her hair that, like, super pixie cut short. Good stuff. Natalia is not just wearing pink. I think she had a little orange, pink, and black in her outfit. Uh, Selena Vega is just, just four foot seven midget. Selena Vega. I'm wearing some. I don't know, eight-year-old's bikini? I have no idea. Oh, yeah, and, and Ruby Riot. The only thing, the only bad, the only negative I can say about Ruby Riot's looks is that she looks like she's wearing controlled top pantyhose because her pantyhose come above her her pants belt. So, I know they're probably, com I guess they're comfortable, but, but I don't know. Young women in, like, granny panties. Just, no. Like, get, like, bikini briefs or something. I mean, it, I don't know, Ruby. Just, like, roll... Even if she just very simply rolled it over the top of her pants, it would look better. At least it wouldn't be that obvious. If you're going to make it look obvious, people like me will say stuff about that. And I'm sure other people are probably saying stuff about that, too. But, yeah. Ruby Wright, like, with the thought of control top fishnet pantyhose. It's not something I, I want to go to sleep to. Or is it? Indeed. Um, then Ruby Riot misses Centon. Gets stuck in a sharpshooter. That's broken up by Zelina Vega. Zelina Vega is putting the sharpshooter. Uh, Ruby Riot then does like some semi key lock onto Zelina Vega. Natalia lets go. And then as soon as Natalia lets go, Zelina Vega taps out. Ruby Riot! Ruby Riot! Lacey, Heidi Lovelace. Again, I know who you are, Ruby Riot. You're Heidi Lovelace. It's not the... Heidi Lovelace is not a illegitimate cousin of yours. Boo! Boo! I don't like that lie. Boo! At least admit who you are. Or look thoroughly embarrassed. Again, when when I met uh, Kaya Sono, I'm like, Chris Hero. You're the man. He's like, oh, yeah. Bump elbows. He at least admitted to being Chris Hero. He reveled in his like, this guy remembers me. Um, again, Tegan Knox, when I said, yes! Oh, wow, now I forget her name. You're Nixon Newell! You're the girl with this Chinese wizard! I remember you for WCBW! At least she was thoroughly embarrassed and, and was, was at least dumbfounded enough to say, yeah, you remember that? You saw me? Hey, live up to it, though. Um, again, Dakota, uh, no, not Dakota Kai. Kyrie Sane, when she saw an old picture of her in Star Room, she's like, wow. At least she was impressed. So, again, yeah, Ruby Wright, it kind of got kind of knocked down that tear with me when you said, how you love Lace as a cousin? No, 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 no. Um, so Ruby Wright wins. She's going to be on the Raw SmackDown. And they only have, let's see here, one, two more shows to figure out who's going to be on it. So that's okay. Or they'll probably have some stupid go-home match. Um, then we have Big E backstage. Uh, hanging out with the Street Profits. Like, hey, Kay, tell us some stuff. Then they just start laughing. <laughs> and Billy Kay, Billy Kay should always laugh. She has a signed picture of her with all the... The raw secrets, and, and they're like, "Yeah, we were we, we were with you on raw." Billy Kay, oh, Ozzy, 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 oi, 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 Ozzy, oi, Ozzy, oi, Ozzy, Ozzy, oi, 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 oi. I I want her to buy me a Vegemite sandwich. I'd leave with her. If Billy Kay bought me or made me a Vegemite sandwich, I'd be like, I don't need work anymore. I'm set for life. And then uh, next qualifying match. Actually, this was actually wrestling heavy, which is good. That's the thing SmackDown is good about. 
We have Otis versus Seth Rollins. Uh, Seth tried multiple double axe handle blows to Otis. That was good to see. So he lost body weight. Um, Otis is Otis is amazing. He talked us throughout the entire match. Yeah, come on, give it to me. Yeah, I feel nothing. Yeah. Oh, that was so good. Uh, and then Murphy shows up. Again, this got to be... Oh, Otis has new music. I'm not necessarily a fan of that either. Again, Otis show, uh, Murphy shows up. It's getting to be that overbooked pile of, of junk. Um, Cole, I don't know. I, I must have missed something, but Cole and Graves, they were just laughing at something. And it had to be just the talking of Otis. Yes, yeah, you brought Murph with you. Hey, Murphy. I'm going to beat up Seth. And I'm going to beat you up, Murphy. Hey, Seth. And I'll tell you what, Cole, you could hear in their voice inflection, they were just laughing. So Cole and Graves, yeah, you got caught. You got caught. You got caught. It's always fun to see whenever. Because this is the first time really in a long time that Michael Cole shown that personality. He showed that personality a little bit when Triple H was there. You can see that come through. Uh, when, when Michael Cole breaks character, he feels so much more natural, though. And it's actually a joy to listen to versus being uh, Michael Cole. I am calling Matt. This is Corey Graves. Yes, I am Corey Graves. How are you doing, Michael Cole? I am heel, so I will make fun of you. I am face because I am Michael Cole. So when Michael Cole and Corey Graves get to have that natural feel, it's actually really good. Um, then Otis, again, goes off the ropes, shoulder tackles and elbows. Um, that, was, that was fun. Uh, Seth Seth tried to do whatever he could to him. But no, that wasn't happening because, again, Otis, Otis was, was jiggling up. He was no-selling whatever Seth did to him. Seth, Seth looked utterly confused. Uh, he had a big splash in the corner. Got on the, Murphy got up on the apron. Otis looked absolutely confused. Um, ate a super kick and a stomp. The, the naturalness of Cole and Graves for that one moment was really good and heartwarming. Otis's new music, yeah. The fact that it was overbooked, yeah. I'm sorry, boys. Even though I know that Otis, that Otis Dozovich was one of your favorite wrestlers. This match was a ham sandwich. And Murphy, the Seth Seth is back to being the disciple all over all over. Why? Why? Why all over again? And the league gets involved. Uh oh. Is the league gonna become a cult member? I don't know. Again, I don't want to take a black light to Aaliyah's black dress. That thing's going to light up like a Christmas tree. Then Michael Cole had, had a sit-down interview with Lars Sullivan. Yeah, kind of the same stuff. Um, Lars was better when he would just show up to the ring when someone say, yeah, I'll take on anyone. Lars Sullivan walks walks in. Guy looks absolutely terrified. Gets suplex out of the shoes. That's the Lars Sullivan I want in the WWE. Not this guy. Then our main event, again, another call. Um, again, just kind of a... I'm going to beat you up, match. This is Jey Uso taking on, on Kevin Owens, who might become Kevin Steen in AEW soon. Who knows? Um, they tie up, which is really good to see. Classic wrestling stuff. Into a headlock by KO. Then they go off the ropes. The shoulder tackle, that's, that's good to see. They tie up again. Uh, then it's a uh, waist lock into an arm bar, into a headlock. Good classic wrestling. I mean, I don't mind when they start going all out. I can also appreciate good classical wrestling matches. I can good classical wrestling start. Um, Uso got caught by KO. Uh, he gets tossed into the barricade. Then, let's see here. A J got dropped into it and got got caught into a neck breaker. Uh, he tried a Simone drop, but no, that wasn't happening. To neck breaker. Paul Heyman shows up. Um, he acts as a distraction. Uso's like, I better step my game up. Us. Again, the then then became Super Kick City. 
Uh, Kevin Owens put on the reverse chin lock, trying to slow the match down. Kevin Owens went there. He was super kick twice, then a, a cannonball, then the senton could not get the two count. Then it just became super kick city because it was super kick le- le- left and right. Um, KO hit a pop-up power bomb. Jey Uso kicked out. Um, Roman Reigns music hit. Jey Uso headbutt Kevin Owens in the groin. That's not cool when everyone's distracted. Hit a super kick and then a splash. Jey Uso wins. Jey Uso, what he had to do. It was a good match. This was a kind of class. It wasn't as bad as I make it out to be. This was a good cheeseburger match. Again, Kevin Owens has yet to really have a bad stinker of a match. I don't think he's really capable of doing that. Jey Uso, he's good at he's capable of having really good matches, especially if he has someone there to carry him. And uh, I'll tell you what, over the, overall though, SmackDown was just a ham sandwich. And that was SmackDown for and for the last show to end this week. It's gonna be tomorrow night. It's because it's the AEW um, Full Metal Gear Solid World of Modern 40k Warcraft show put on by AEW. I'll be there. I'm gonna be a little bit late. I'll probably start my sh- my reactions probably about nine. I'll see what I can catch a little bit. Um, it's just one of those things I can't show a lot because AEW they did zonk me once, and I've learned my lesson with AEW. I'm still waiting for AAA to come back though. That's the show of shows. And that's it for the week. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching this whole week. Again, check out.